when I look at how I got myself into engineering, um, so first off, I did telecommunications and information engineering. I fall in love with what I do on a daily basis. So it's something that has grown in me over time, but something that I'm really happy to do. Some of the initiatives I've been involved in here at Safaricom that I think have helped me grow. So I was an intern here in 2018, and then I came back to the same team shortly after graduating. Within that role, I had the opportunity to manage 24 technical customer support staff within Safaricom. So when I look at some of the projects that I did within that space and what has really helped me grow, it's that specific role. Later on, I transitioned to what I do right now, which is network planning and design. I pride myself with being part of Safaricom because our goal is to be notoriously customer obsessed. So it's one of the initiatives that I do to ensure I provide the best network for my team. As a woman in technology, some of the challenges that I've faced is imposter syndrome. That's one of the biggest uh, challenges I think I have had to overcome. And I think the best strategy I had for myself is I told myself, um, you're here because you deserve to be here. My advice to anyone, if you're navigating, whether it's the corporate world, whether it's high school, whether it's primary school, if you're looking to jump into a new role at work, or if you want to grow at work, then go and look for those opportunities that can actually place you in the right place to get your goals achieved. Just go and do it. So how am I paving the way forward and encouraging other women to pursue uh, guess, engineering or technological courses? I run a program called uh, Kids in Tech, where we train small boys and girls on digital literacy and coding. Aside from that, I've also uh, volunteered with what is known as Technovation. We have girls from high schools and we facilitate transport for mentors to go and mentor these kids uh, so that they can come up with applications that solve problems within their communities. So I also contribute to other organizations such as uh, Engineering Ed where we go to places like Kajiado and we sort of mentor girls within the community just to be able to guide whether it's the small kids or it's young girls to be able to get an interest in technology or sort of answer their questions about technology that they wouldn't know. My parting shot is let's have more women in STEM. I can assure you it's a fantastic place to be. Happy International Women's Month!